Houston's stray animal overpopulation is getting worse, and it's also becoming a serious public health crisis. Tonight, Fox 26's Randy Wallace is joining us live downtown with a story you'll see only here on Fox tonight. Randy. Yeah, Jonathan, there's a number of agencies, entities, and nonprofits working to combat our stray animal overpopulation crisis. Some believe it's time for all those groups to work together. And the only way you're going to fix it is admit you've got a problem. If you keep saying, oh, we're dealing with it, it'll never get fixed. In just the last week, a 71-year-old man was killed by a pack of dogs in nearby Fort Bend County. A 16-year-old was struck and killed by a car while trying to flee from a stray dog. Two people, including a Houston police officer, were bit during a vicious dog call on the city's east side. I can't imagine anything worse than being mauled by a, by a pack of dogs. And um, it's unacceptable in a civilized society, but that's what we're dealing with. I believe you have to apply more resources, but first you've got to make it a top priority. State Senator John Whitmire says Bark needs more animal control officers and better leadership. I really think you could get a lot of private money. In fact, I know you could go to corporations or foundations. They would donate money, and we could have a first-class animal shelter with a no-kill program. There's also a misnomer that the, that the um, gauge of animal welfare in a community is the live release rate of a shelter, and that's not it at all. The gauge of animal welfare is the number of animals that are left on the streets to suffer and to also hurt its citizens. We have Pet Set, we have the Humane Society, the SBCA, I can name numerous programs that I've worked with in Austin toward better statutes on animal welfare. They need to come together pull their resources, pull their political clout. We have to get on par with other major cities like Austin, Dallas, and San Antonio. It's not a high dollar issue. It's not a rocket science issue. It's a making it a priority, and that's what we should all do. Now, the city stray animal overpopulation would decline drastically if just 1% of Houstonians would foster a stray animal from a shelter or a rescue group. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.